on with Abigail. I have a special surprise. When I was on my trip to Japan, I came back with so much snacks. I have not touched them. The urge was so real. Here we are, first video of our Japanese taste testing, and I can't wait to try them because I've been waiting for this moment for so long. So because I brought back so much snacks, um, I had to divide them up. So these are the beautifully packaged Japanese snacks. They're like just so cute and ready to go. If you needed to bring back souvenirs for your friends, these are like the go-to. Like, look how beautiful. It's an artwork in itself. I can't throw this out. I would feel so bad putting this in the garbage. Let us start with the tasting. So the first one I'm gonna try today is the Meiji Strawberry Chocolate. I think I almost have an idea what these are gonna taste like, but I don't. Not actually. Oh my god, as soon as you remove the plastic, the aroma just... Oh my god. Just simply adorable. I just want to share, well like actually just for me. So there are so many individually wrapped little chocolate pieces. Oh my god, it smells so good. Like freshly dipped chocolate strawberries. Mm. There's something about Japanese flavoring of fruits that you know it's artificial, but it's not a bad artificial taste. I remind you, I'd like to say that tastes true to fact to the fruit with chocolate. In the middle, you see that there is the pink strawberry and then a surrounding milk chocolate coating. Mm. I could munch on these all day. I trust Meiji with any chocolate product they make. It's so creamy, so addicting. It smells so good. Yum. Well worth getting. There's 26 blocks and it says, the delicious the deliciously natural, refreshing flavor and aroma of strawberries. Beautiful. That? So next on our list, we're still on the Ichigo trend. Ichigo. Strawberries. Ooh. This is an Ichigo strawberry something. Chika no Ichigo Dango. I think it's something mochi. These packages, I just don't want to just rip them open like a present. I would just, these are perfect to bring home as souvenirs. I really don't want to ruin this. I'm one of those people who almost want to like save the wrapping paper. Beautiful, I did it. I was correct. So it seems like a mochi strawberry flavored. A mochi strawberry flavored. Strawberry flavored mochi. You get 10 pieces in this package. Itadakimasu. They're all individually small mochi pieces. Actually. I think in the middle it's just regular red beans. And it's the mochi surrounding it. That's strawberry flavored. The strawberry flavor in this one is not so intense, but there's a subtleness in the aftertaste. Mm, awesome to share. It's not too sweet. There's a good chew. I love it. I know some people don't like the mochi texture, but I love the chew. So this is a great snack to have. Let's say a solid. Nine out of 10. Should I give rating? The first one was a straight. Nine out of 10 to based off of what? I don't know. But I'll know what 10 if I see one. Mm -hmm. So, ooh, here's the next one. Ready? Oh my God, so cute. So this has no English on it. Almost positive I got this in Kyoto 
near Fushimi Inari. It is an adorable box. It's gonna be very hard for me to throw up one day. And I think that's why I'm a hoarder. So this one, also mochi. I had an idea. From the front of the packaging, they're drinking what I assume is matcha because anything green and steaming and in a cup is matcha in Japan. I don't know if the matcha flavor is gonna be so overpowering. What are scissors? Teeth are basically scissors. If I go by scent, there's no actual scent to them. It comes off a little bit more green in camera than it does in person. In person, it comes off a little bit gray. So I assume again that there's red bean in the middle and then the surrounding mochi part has green tea flavoring. So let's go ahead, eat the dakimas. Mm, yes, it's 100% green tea flavored. And the red bean in the middle is also green tea flavored. The one prior has a better bounce to the mochi. This one's just a little bit grainy, but I don't know if it's just because it's an expiration thing. Flavor is good, it's there. Just the mochi um, bounce is just a little bit powdery for me. So not entirely my favorite. I'm gonna give this a straight like Five out of ten. Five out of ten, but honestly, could be my own fault. It could be because I just held it off too long. And I'm sure maybe when you buy it fresher, the bounce is there. Last but not least, I would say the prettiest packaging I've ever did see. I know I got this prior to leaving Japan in the airport. I have absolutely no idea what flavor this is. I just saw the box and I'm like, yeah, I'm buying it. I just want to put it on my wall. This, I'm not throwing this out ever. This is gonna be a family heirloom. I'm just gonna pass it down. Mom, did you get me like a beautiful necklace? That's my great, great, great grandmother's. No, you have a box and you better cherish it. Ready for the big reveal? Oh. Oh, oh, comes the little pamphlet. And, uh... So these are called, actually I have to search it up. Pick. I figured it out. So these are called Yatsuhashi. Yatsuhashi is a Japanese confectionery sold mainly as a souvenir sweet. It is one of the best known meibutsu, famous regional products of Kyoto. So there are two here. There's one that's green. Assumptions tell me it's matcha. And then there is a more whitish one here. Ooh. So the smell of these are so strong. It's a very earthy, intense flavor. They're not powdery like the other mochi. They're very sticky. Again, don't know if this is because I should have ate it fresher. So it could be my fault. This is what they look like. Itadakimasu. The matcha flavoring in this is awesome. It's super earthy, subtle. But the aftertaste isn't so artificial. It really does taste of pure matcha. Not like the green tea bags, but very much so like the crushed up green powdery matcha. That's what this tastes like. Chewy part would have been more chewy and more delicious if I ate this fresher. Still really good, but it's not chewy. It's just like almost gooey. It's like all over my fingers. Disgusting. But in the best way possible. So I think this is plain, almost like a rice cake mixture. And then good old red bean in the middle. 
Yeah, that's 100% just original flavor. The red bean in the middle isn't as dark as the red bean I'm used to seeing. It's more of this lighter, ashy brown color. Super delicious. It's not so sweet, again, really good. It's like a tea biscuit or something where you can just have it with something hot and they complement each other. So guys, that comes to the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like that, press the like button, subscribe, and if you wanna see more content, I have so much Japanese snacks to try. I have more travel videos coming up. And anything you wanna see, whatever you want. So just keep posted and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.